the judging process, yeah, it's been good to work as a team and to hear other people's thoughts on the work. We've been invited to this specific section here in the Western Cape and it was actually very interesting to hear the feedback from all the other centres. The selection process is becoming difficult each year, seeing the work and the kind of quality of the work that's, that's coming out. The work is conceptually strong countrywide and there's a very, very deep inner voice. It's been so exciting to see what informs the young artists, what are they dealing with. Notice probably for the first time the artists from specific regions are grappling with issues that are really pertinent to their environment. In Cape Town, especially issues with plastics, and it's been quite interesting to see how artists have harnessed these used plastics intentionally. We've gone through the work looking at the ones that are really bold in terms of their concept and then followed by their technique. The competition is getting more difficult. As some of the smallest work has been the loudest voice. You look at the work and it's based on the merit, the making of the work and how it's presented. Presentation is very important. It's been a very diverse. The works that I brought to the competition this time um, are works that, that are very close to my heart. It was actually on my bucket list and it was um, sort, of, sort of a memorial piece. And it's also a nice experience. They really push the boundaries of certain materials. The works that that we've selected are ambitious and for the most part everyone's tried their hand at being limitless in terms of their imaginations. I think it's a brilliant platform, such a great opportunity for artists who are aspiring to make it in the art world. 2018 is very exciting and I'm curious to see how they develop. It's wonderful that Sassel is still after all these years supporting young artists.